What's going on, YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And I was cruising through the pictures here from the new Curiosity rover download 601, the uh, saw, a couple days old now. And last night I saw this, and I wanted to make the video last night, but I was just too tired. And this is, I had to come back in the morning to make sure I saw what this is. And everybody always tells me, I want to see some, some tools. I want to see something up there that's uh, tangible. And I think we're looking at a rope saw. Here it is right here. You've got uh, the teeth of it and everything it looks like. It looks like it comes up, comes down. There's there's two pieces to it. Um, looks like it's got the, the grommets or whatever, the pieces. Looks like this one's connected here. It comes back around. And there's a, uh, some sort of contraption with an arm here, some uh, circular stuff right here. I mean, it doesn't get better than this, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see here. Come on, NASA. Tell me what this is. What kind of rock formation is this? It's even got like a housing up here at the top. And, of course, I think if we brushed away all the dust and dirt there, we'd find metal, um, something along those lines. Let's see here. Let's, uh, let's do this real fast. Let me do the auto color, see what happens, see if we get that that normal color from me. I'm just I'm in got it in Photoshop right now. That's kinda kinda bright, but here's the picture right here. And don't worry about download. All you gotta do is go to the description and uh, hit what's up. It's pretty interesting. Just hit description. After I talk a little bit you'll be able to hit this and you don't have to type this thing in, but it's there. So you can check see this is the real picture. Right there I just taken the color off of it. So let me go ahead and step backwards a little bit. And we will go ahead and get at this thing with the gamma and see what we can do all right all right image adjustment exposure let's pull up the gamma see what we can find on this thing all right i love the, when i pull the gamma but to say this every time i love it because it it gives me that depth i look for i really like that depth especially on these rover shots that are just so yeah blurry now and just nasty definitely not what i expect from a two billion dollar rover but what can you say? Let's see, now it's auto color it. All right, well, let's see if that helps at all. Wow, look at that thing. You, can you see the teeth on it? It looks like teeth to me. One, two, three, and they look evenly spaced out. Um, this piece up here, it looks to have a, a top piece. It looks like it might clamp down on or something. This seems to have that arm that looks like it's attached to. This could, and this comes back to this side. Look how it comes to the other side here. So this contraption seems to be one contraption there. I mean, I don't think it gets better than that. Look, I mean, ladies and gentlemen at NASA, what in the do we have here? <laughs> Excuse my almost language. And also, can you tell me why everything looks to be photoshopped or maybe moved in? Look at these blocks that are around each thing. Are these? Sometimes I wonder if these pictures are just being made. Um, you can see that they've blurred out some stuff here too. I mean, look at, look behind here. How this stuff seems on this side of it has really good uh, resolution, and right to the side of it, there's blur marks everywhere. Just and it's hard to see these on the actual screen. I've I've learned that because I go back and watch my videos sometimes. But that definitely looks like something. Uh, definitely, that looks like a rope saw to me, or some sort of saw, some sort of. Uh, and then that would make sense because look at some of these cuts that we have up here. Look at this cut on that block right there, the closest block to it. And then look at these. I mean, this is what the kind of thing that would make this kind of cut right there, something along those lines. You know, look look at that right there. People say, oh, that's just chipped out now. These things were worked perfectly. Mars was a very ornate place at one time. Look here in the background. We've got this rocking and rolling right there, that perfect angle on that. Lots of, lots of, lots of rocks. Yeah, right. Tired of it. Tired of all the, the hiding the stuff. Look at this right here. Look at the shadow on the wall here. And, uh... Look, there's some interesting thing here. It's like a little little bar or something. See this little bar right there? And then uh, whatever is up on top of it's blurred out. See that? And they just add the blur right over top of it. It drives me insane. Come on, NASA. I mean, you take our money. I, we give you guys a lot of money. And that's where I start thinking, you know, they've got this probably secret space program that blows this stuff away. Um, the rover's probably garbage compared to what we have. Um, even though it is pretty cool, it's nuclear power, it'll run forever if the wheels don't fall off of it. More interesting, uh, just formations up here. There was, I think this was, the, was this the one that had the, uh, not only did it have what looked like that rope saw over there, I think this is the one that had the, uh, it, was, it almost looked like a little piece that you could turn. There it is right there, look at that. Bingo. Bingo, another look like tool. This looks like a piece that would go right with it. 
and I uh, add on that back here there's a cylinder something going on with that let's see auto color image adjustments exposure give me that gamma see that look at that bam bam look at that what is that that's just a natural rock formation right with that kind of symmetry in it and look at the ball this has like an in like it's concave or this is up on top looks like it's a perfect ball coming out in the back there looks like a pepsi can or something back here with something coming in with a uh, got a little molotov cocktail right there something along those lines and then more and more of these will look like cut blocks now this stuff down here that this looks like uh, just image artifacts and it that doesn't look like actual cut but you never know these, these are these blinds effects. This is a really good example of the blinds effects I've been talking about. Let me blow that up. One, two, three. But usually they're up and down. Um, and they just, when they, when they add the little things and you back up, they hide stuff so well. It's amazing. And look at these cuts. It, like uh, up here, or, let me go back where I was saying. More and more perfect cuts. And that's what you would need that rope saw for. It would definitely be needed for that, I'd imagine. And, uh... I mean, look at the cut out of that right there. Almost perfect. If it comes down, it's real ornate too around that as it comes down. So let's take one more look down there at that rope saw and I'll let you guys go. I thought that was cool. I thought you guys would enjoy it. Hopefully you guys will share this one because it looks like we've got a whole bunch of tools here. we got one right there. That other one over there that was pretty cool. And then we've got, as I dr drive on down to it, boom, right there. Let me do something. Let me do... Image, auto color. All right, now let me pull it out with the other, uh, with the gamma like this and see if it doesn't get. Look at the depth of it. I just tell you, I'm telling you, it looks like this has got like this looks like part of it, or either that or it's being used to weight it down. You've got the top one and the bottom one. It doesn't look like rock. It definitely looks like a rope saw or something that would cut. Um, let me know what you guys think below. What's up in the sky 37? My name is Will. Come on, NASA. Come clean there. Come on. It's time. I know you watch my videos. I see your servers hitting it. Well, I don't want you guys get on.